it's estimated that one in eight people in the U.S. with HIV don't know that they are infected. The question is, could a new campaign for the HIV prevention pill, PrEP, do more harm than good? This is the new billboard that claims one can, and cover your ears, this is, I'm gonna say this one time, but it literally says, without fear, if they take this pill one time a day. We also picked up these Mardi Gras beads and wristbands that were being given to pa patrons in a bar in West Hollywood. They also promote the same message. It basically says, fearless blanker. Joining us now to discuss this is Dr. Robert Bullen, the chief medical officer at the Los Angeles LGBT Center who put up this new campaign. On the other side of the debate is Dr. Adam Cohen, the director of advocacy and policy research at the AIDS Healthcare Foundation. Dr. Bull, I have to ask you, you know, this, this program comes off as just promoting reckless sex. So what's your response to that? We've accomplished our purpose. We got your attention. The, 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 the campaign is really designed to begin a conversation about how to protect oneself against HIV. But in fact, are they protecting themselves? Because men on the PrEP pill are 25 times more likely to get gonorrhea and 45 times more likely to get syphilis. So isn't this pill like their little secret thing in their head? They're like, I'm all safe. If the program were only promoting the use of a, of a pill, I would agree with you. But it is not just promoting the use of a pill. It is a combination of using the uh, PrEP pill and condom use. Condoms will protect against the but, sexually transmitted But with, with all due but, respect, here's the reality. To, to say this, with all due respect, sir, blank without fear is a false statement, in my humble opinion. Um, there are plenty of sexually transmitted diseases that, that I know we're gonna talk to you about this that you kind of blow off, no big deal. Well, they're a big deal if you get them. Um, and no, so I, I'm have. wholeheartedly in disagreement with you on this. And I know we have uh, Adams here who, to, to also talk because you're the director of advocacy and policy research regarding this. And, you know, I, I know you also disagree with, with the message here, but I want you to come at it from the perspective of this is kind of your life's work. HIV is a serious disease, and as you mentioned before, many people who are infected don't actually know that they're infected in the U.S. And 90% of all new HIV infections are actually caused by people who are living with HIV and are either unaware of their status or not receiving the medical care that they need. And these are people who are not getting the medication that they need, and so to be promoting a pill as a single entity to prevent HIV also doesn't address the fact that we have people who need these meds living with HIV. Okay, if you can decrease the fear of HIV, I get that, but let's address and acknowledge these other illnesses. We know now there's a lot of treatment-resistant gonorrhea out there. Right. You know, you develop herpes simplex, you have that for life. You know, that's where I really have a problem because it, this, it doesn't really, this billboard doesn't address that. Well, first of all, first of all, this is not the entire campaign. This is a billboard. There is no educational campaign, no marketing campaign that accomplishes all of the information that you want to give to somebody in one breath, in one billboard, in one handout, in one brief discussion. You don't take a deep breath and tell everybody everything that you know in one deep breath. The point of this is to get people's attention. We got your attention. We're here talking about this today. That's great. I want to get people's attention to get them in. And then we will talk about the entire campaign. I do think it's a phenomenal advance in medicine. This PrEP pill <clears throat> in existence is a life changer and a life saver. So that's important and powerful.